Hello Sagittarius, hello Leo, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Hello my family fire signs, I'm a Sagittarius rising. So thank you so much for clicking here, I appreciate you already. Um, I hope that you'll be in the comments, it's really the way that I kind of get to get into your energy a little bit by seeing that you're there, whether it's an emoticon or some words that you're giving me, or a thumbs up, just exchange energy with me in some type of way. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, I just want to let you know that I have extended the um, the uh, sale for private reads. So you'll see that information down below in the description. Uh, there is a code that you need to take over to Wizio to get 10% off of all of my services. Actually, until the end of July. So yeah, have at it. Have at it. All right. Here we go. Uh, who are we going to read for first? We're going to read for... We'll leave for Rio lead for Rio. We will read for Leo first. <laughs> Sagittarius, if you could just uh, head along and I'll be with you in just a second. Leo, your energy's got me already. It's like I'm talking so fast and talking backwards. <laughs> I just got kind of excited a little bit there for a moment. Um, I don't know, maybe something good is coming up for you or maybe you're making a decision about something, Leo. Like it feels like you are... Uh, the energy that I'm getting from the Leo Collective, whoever you are, uh, it, there's like a feeling in the gut of, yep, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And this is something that I've never done before, but I'm going to go for broke and I'm going to do this. So it feels like excitement, but it feels like, you know, excitement can feel like anxiety uh, in the gut. If you're the person who has it, you know what I mean, right? I'm the person that has it. All right, here we go, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I see you cross-watchers. Of course you're cross-watching for a Leo. Who wouldn't, right? All right. Here we go. Leo, please. Energy for Leo in the week ahead. Energy for Leo. Wow. Just like that. There you go. Transformation, Leo. It, it feels like you've, you've recently, in the recent past, spent some time alone is what I want to say. And in that time alone, I feel as though you have been transforming. Yeah. There's been a transformation that's gone on here. And uh, we have leadership. I feel like you, it's almost like you you have a change of mind about something or a change of attitude. Uh, something, you, you decided that you're going to stop doing something. And uh, what is that? It's like a procrastination, but I don't feel that it is. Like, I really feel, I feel this as the universe is going to tell you when it's time to go and you'll know. Intuitively, you'll know. And I'm just going to say you can't make the wrong decision. You will know. Yeah. So whatever this is, I feel as though you're going to stop doing something. Like, I'm going to stop putting stuff on the back burner. I'm going to start, you know, uh, figuring things out up front. I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to talk. I'm going to try and see things through my awareness, purple and blue here, right, for the third eye energy and um, the throat chakra. I feel like this transformation for you, Leo, is important because I feel like you're making, you're making, you're deciding to put to bed some old behaviors or patterns that are no longer useful to you. And I think you have an awareness through the third eye chakra that, after this transformation, that the time that you've spent alone in your cocoon or by yourself or away from people in general, um, I think that that you have decided that you're going to take a step forward on something here. <laughs> going forward, there it is. <laughs> you are. You're going to start going forward. You're, you, I think you're going to go down the path. It looks like an abundant path and you're headed toward the sun and sun is Leo. So I'm just saying I feel as though you're headed in the right direction. Yeah. All right. It's already interesting, Leo. Good job. Look at this energy you bring me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you what, my son's a Leo and I have a couple Leo friends and it's always the same gig whenever they're around. It's always sort of sunshine. It makes me happy. I'm always smiling when I'm around my son or my Leo friends. Always smiling. Yeah. All right. What else is here for Leo, please? The Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. We have unlimited potential. Wow, you've unlocked another level. <laughs> I want to say you you just unlocked another level in the video game there, Leo. I think so. 
because you go from transformation to unlimited potential you literally unlock something within yourself and you realize that as long as you're willing to take the leadership position here that it's it's whatever it's whatever you want it to be it's infinite You've unlocked something here. Well, yeah, that's kind of interesting because that's card number 43, which is a seven. And if you watch me at all, you know that I, for myself, I always see sevens as uh, heavenly or divinely guided. Uh, sevens and heaven for me have always been a thing since uh, since childhood. So I, I feel like um, this person here knows you, Leo, I think it's you, that you you have this transformation or this huge shift in your energy. You've gone through a really big shift. In the last couple of months that I've been reading for you, Leo, you, you've been heading toward this shift for a while. That's why I was so excited to see the transformation card come out. Um, and it's been a, a, a painful transition as the transformation is. When that caterpillar goes into the cocoon, it's literally melting. It's dying completely to be reborn. And that's exactly what's gone on here. You have a different awareness. I think that maybe your th third eye is open and you now see, maybe you have a different awareness of what's going on. And maybe you feel like now you know that if you take charge of making the conversation or seeing the things for what they really are, that there is unlimited potential here. Taking a chance, going into the future. Oh, the plot thickens, Leo. You never hesitate to bring the drama. <laughs> we have healing. You have been healing. You've been, I think, in hermit mode. I think that you have spent a couple of, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say like maybe since the f like late fall, November or something, maybe you've been spending some time alone. I mean, it doesn't have to be that far back, but I really feel like being alone is, is what is causing your healing. And the other card says bullseye, it says focus. It's realigned your fo your focus because you're resilient. You, you freaking well are, Leo, you're resilient. Tell you what, I don't know, Leo, that doesn't come with their own tough story because succulents are resilient. You can't kill a succulent, right? You just cannot. You have to try pretty hard. And even then it's iffy. <laughs> yeah. So resilience, uh, and I feel like you are going to be rewarded from the universe. The bottom card was destiny. You're going to be rewarded f from the universe. I think that this transformation had to happen to make you realize that you're the one in charge. You know, the, the leadership here has got a polar bear on it, and if you... If you've been watching me for any length of time, I always tell you the same story that I live in a province in Canada and uh, up north from the from where I live, there are polar bears. And I, I do know that polar bears never, never lose a scent. So you can you can be up in Churchill and encounter a bear. You may get away. You go up the next time. They're going to find you. Yeah, they just never lose a scent. They're v and they're, they're leaders, of course, bears are. They're always the ones that are, especially in the wintertime, right? They're um, uh, before, you know, as the snow falls and before they go um, into hibernation, you know, they're making trails for the other animals all the times, right? They're, they, they are a leadership animal for sure. All right. Someone has unlocked their uh, unlimited potential. This is card number 19, y'all. Card number 19 is a 10, which is a 1. So there's a, you're, somebody's here is taking a chance on a new beginning. Okay. Going to bring all of that in the first few seconds of your reading, huh? <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to get attention, would you? <laughs> oh, Leo. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Let's take a look at this here. Let's throw some tarot on it. See what's going on here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, for the week ahead. Leo, your energy feels super playful today. And although, like, I, you know, I read for you every week, but you're, although your energy is always very, um, to me, uh, fiery and, and uh, smoldery, sexy kind of energy, today it's giving me playful. <laughs> yeah. And the fuzzy dice. Look. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a little bit playful to me. It's like you, hmm, you've really changed something or something's changed within you. We've got uh, the strength card in the reverse. You've been doing a lot of inner work. 
And the strength card to me and the reverse to me doesn't mean you're weaker or not, you know, or a coward or anything like that. To me, it's like inner strength. It's like I'm going inward now. The universe is giving you a chance to go inward and tame the beast, right? Which literally is the lion, right? Which is you. That's also your card there, Leo. I think that once you do tame that beast, whatever it is, the one that always gets away, maybe you have a short temper. Maybe, you know, um... Yeah, maybe it's a short temper. Ah, it does feel like that because the five of wands just showed up. Yeah, and I think you have a short temper because you have a short fuse with yourself is what I want to say. The five of wands is about is about sort of beating myself up uh, over something or, or a, a, a situation that's gone on. Like I, I feel like it doesn't even have to be a situation that you'll find a situation in your mind to beat yourself up about. Yeah, I could have done that better. Or why did I say that thing? Or or something like that. I think you're too hard on yourself. But I do think that looking within is good. Because it's never bad, a bad thing to look over the five of wands and see why it's there. Right? It's never, it's never bad to do that. We've got the queen of pentacles in the reverse. This is interesting. Interesting, interesting. Eight of Wands, King of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck with the Two of Pentacles. So you're got you're like juggling for your life in in your life. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Um, it feels like there's a lot of juggling, and I, I I really think that you've actually been juggling people too. We've got the Queen of Cups here, Two of Pentacles. But the, to me, that could also mean that you are mother and father. It could mean that you're a single parent. Because um, the Queen of Cups is feminine or masculine uh, in a general reading, and, and the Two of Pentacles tells me that maybe you juggle both roles. Although we do have the King and the Queen of Cups here, um, while well, the Queen is in the distance. Under the bottom of the deck is the future energy. Someone you've been quiet with. Someone that you've been hopeful about. But you haven't been saying anything to them. You're super attracted to them, though. Why are you quiet with them? Why is that? Trying to get justice with what? Oh, your manifestation. Okay, so you're manifesting a second chance here. That's what I think it is. You're manifesting a second chance here with somebody. Nonetheless, I, I see you as the juggler, someone who's juggling everything. Uh, you, I think you're juggling everything. Yeah. I think you're holding it all up here, Leo. Whether that means you just have too many jobs, <laughs> maybe you don't have any children, maybe you have too many jobs, but it feels like someone who's taking on the role of both mother and father, that's what it feels like to me. That's what the juggle is. All right. Just listening. Uh, you are feeling badly about... Um, being in a money stall that's what it feels like and i'm gonna i said it that way because charlie said it that way a money stall uh charlie is my guide is always present at the readings by the way um so uh the queen of pentacles it, I, i'm supposed to tell you it's a money stall so not that it's over not that it's really it's always going to be this tough it's not no this is just a this is just an inconvenience, and it is rocking your stability. And I think that you are going within to figure out what it is that you're doing wrong. And I love that. <laughs> I love that because your transformation has brought you clarity about the leadership that you have in your life, the leadership role that you have in your life. And I think that you have realized or unlocked the notion of, I've got unlimited potential and I'm tired of living here. I'm tired of, you know, living, you know, half time in, in this kind of stability and half time in this kind of stability. I think that um, what you are going to be doing in the week ahead is you're going to be taking, um, taking some financial decisions under account. I think you want to I think you're beating yourself up over not having enough money. And the thing is, is that it's also about not having enough worth. Yeah, it's not just your pentacles. It, it feels like your pentacles are very connected to the money that you make, that you find your worth in the money that you make, which is a dangerous place to be because you're always in the five of wands then. So your, the strength card being in the reverse, right on the transformation card and the unlimited potential, we have the eight of wands, which is quick moving energy. Something is about to move quickly coming up in the week ahead. Um, and it's because 
you've gone inward. It's because you've gone inward, you're finding your strength, you're trying to get up the courage to do something, to take action on getting rid of this. So you might be going to a job interview or maybe you've decided that you're going to work longer hours at one job and quit the second job or something like that. <coughs> Pardon me. But we have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is uh, can also be communication. I think you, uh, for others of you, I think that you are planning on communicating with someone. I think that you want to either take someone out or um, get into a group of people. Maybe you're trying to get a group of people together, but this is celebration to me. It's celebration. It's happiness. Let's go out. Let's go on a date. Maybe you're going to ask somebody out to a social event, possibly. You know, Leo, I think that the person that you're going to ask out, you think that there's competition for them. You think that there's competition for their love. And I think that you are, although you're here, Leo, of course, but I think your energy is this. I think you're the person who plays it really poker faced on the surface. Because the King of Cups is that Scorpio energy is not really going to, you know, great poker player, not really going to let you see what's going on on the surface. Right cards are close to the chest, but like, make no mistake, this person is beautiful and kind and lovely and very, very deep and feels everything very deeply, but is also uh, emotionally aware and emotionally intelligent and emotionally available. So I think you're wondering in the week ahead if somebody that you have your eye on, are they emotionally enough available for you? Um, what I want to say is that uh, the Queen of Pentacles being in, in the reverse can also indicate, by the way, it's Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Capricorn, of course. Um, but uh, if, you are, um, if you are invited out to a place, I think that if you're going to ask somebody out, I think that the person that you want to go with you, I think is somebody that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but maybe you're unsure of the connection with this person right now because the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. You know, maybe you want to take somebody out, but you're having financial issues and maybe you just can't afford to do that right now. I mean, this is a tough ass economy. It is. And if you are someone who's floating the whole boat, that's tough. Yeah. So I think that maybe for some of you, you're waiting, you know, you, you want to know the potential of, you know, what happens here. Is there potential for anything to happen here? Because I think somebody has got other people, other options. Yeah, there might be competition for somebody's affections here. Just listening. So, Leo, I think somebody is going to offer you some sort of a leadership position. Um, and you you are the leader, right? You don't have a problem with people following you. And people do that anyway, because either it's your charismatic energy or you're beautiful to look at. I don't, I don't know, Leo, that isn't, it isn't nice, easy on the eyes, right? So, and, and that energy, right? The energy of bringing the sunshine. So, I feel like you, you're probably going to be offered a leadership position um, in the future, and if this is something that is uh, looking to you like it might be uh, related to a job or a position, I feel like there's going to be competition there, but that you're, you're the person who is probably going to get the job because you've done all the work. You're the one that's aware. I mean, you can be as smart as you want, but if you have no self-awareness or no awareness, it's, it's just not good, right? So what I think is going on here is the pentacles, the queen of pentacles in the reverse is, is a couple of things. Like it feels like, it feels like you're unsure if you can take this person out. Can I afford it? Is that what I want to spend my money on? Cause maybe you are carrying a float in the whole boat, right? Um, I do feel like there is, is, or you want there to be some type of reunion with the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse is either not talking to you or working on self, because Queen of Pentacles does that, goes inward when the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. And because when the Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, she's very generous and giving her time and all of that. But right now, somebody is to themselves. So I think if you want to talk to this person or ask them out or get them to be a little more social with you, you're going to have to take the lead. Yeah, you're going to have to take the lead. 
You're going to have to take a chance. And I think this is, this is something that has, I think that you have transformed the way that you think about pursuing a relationship, I want to say, that you're trying to be uh, more aware of what's going on. And I think you are because of all of those colors in the leadership card. I think you are way more aware. The thing is this, is there's no easy way about it. You're just going to have to ask this person outright. If they're being quiet with you, um, if, you if they feel like they've gone inward and they aren't saying anything to you, you're going to have to take a chance. Yeah. All right. Tell me what's transformed here. Strength. Ooh, judgment. Wow. King of Swords. Whew. Yep, that's it. That's the leadership cards. Um... Yeah. So again, we've got Leo. Strength is now in the upright. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. We have the Judgment card and the King of Swords. So it looks like someone is gathering the courage after this transformation or a change of mind or whatever has changed within you. Maybe the death of an ego. It could be. Strength is here in the reverse. Could be the death of an ego. Um, I want to say with the King of Swords and the Judgment card, though, is that I feel like you're not taking no for an answer. Or if you do take no for an answer, you're going to be good and damn clear. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are we not doing this? Because I think you want the second chance. You're trying to find the courage to have a second chance. And I think your second chance is with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. All right. There we go. We've got the Hierophant in reverse. We've got uh, the Seven of Wands in reverse. Ooh, got the Tower. Okay, so you are going to go forward and ask this person out. You know what I want to say to you? That this person is super intuitive. Now, the, the uh, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is very grounded, very much vibrational. So these are um, highly intuitive people. And the High Priestess is someone who's highly psychic and is also very quiet. So it, it makes me, it tells me that the Queen of Pentacles has been quiet with you um, because she is working on herself or she or he, whoever that is, masculine or feminine. They're working on themselves. They're working uh, inwardly. And I think that this person already knows that you're on the way. I think this person already knows that you're, um, that it feels between you Um that there are, there is uh, love, like there's a depth of feelings here. And what I want to say is, there is an unlimited potential, should you decide to, um, to move forward to the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like there is an unlimited potential if you take the lead. Um, we have the Hierophant, which is in the reverse, that tells me that you're non-traditional. You're someone who doesn't really follow the rules. You like to do what you want to do when you want to do it, and you're not really sure if you want a commitment. You're not really sure if you want to get into a commitment, but I think that's why the King of Swords is here telling, telling us that it's time to talk about it. I want to make it good and damn clear why we are or are not going forward and doing this, whether you decide to or not. Now, I think that... Um, you require someone uh, to be to be flexible in your life, right? Seven of Wands is in the reverse. You require someone to be flexible with you. And um, it might be because there's a lot of competition for your time, but it could be because there's also a lot of competition for your love. Whether you're feminine or masculine, I feel like you're attached to another family or children or, you know, parents or somebody who requires your help. You could be caring for someone. You could be a, a caregiver. So uh, we have a uh, tower here. There is a realization that the reason that the queen has been quiet is because maybe they're working on themselves. But you realize that because you've had a transformation. You've been quiet with them because you've been working on yourself. It feels a bit mirrored. I'm just saying. Could be a soulmate or a deeper connection here. Um, so we have uh, the tower that falls here and the high priestess. I think the silence comes to an end here. Yeah, the tower is gonna gonna bust in here, and I think it's it's you bringing the tower, telling this person that you want to see them, or wanna want to go out with them. 
Um, we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you really, you really do need to let some burdens go here. And I think the only way you're going to be able to do it is if you speak to someone here about your feelings. But I don't think you're really sure about your feelings. The Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups tells me that you, um, you're going to try and use some kind and soft romantic words. I think you are, but it's really hard for you. It's really, it's this whole thing's been so burdensome. You've been holding yourself back, I think. Yeah. Okay. I just want to talk about this tower and then uh, we'll get you out of here. There we go. About the tower energy, please. What's the realization? Six of Swords. I think the Six of Swords on the Five of Wands tells me that you you need to move away from this this energy of doubt. You have a realization that you need to stop doubting yourself, that you're the leader. And whatever goes down is whatever goes down because you want it to go down. Um, there's a realization about a soulmate here. We've got the Six of Cups and the Lovers. So this is someone that you've known for a while, someone that you now recognize, recognize in your heart space as uh, someone who is a soulmate for you. So I think uh, as you go forward into, uh, into the week ahead here that you are taking a chance to speak to someone um, that uh, someone that may have broken your heart or maybe you broke their heart or maybe it was a disappointing conversation here last time and I think you're you're taking a chance with this person who is the lover here yeah I feel like it was it was a disappointing conversation five of swords is here that you had last time and maybe it wasn't harsh but maybe it was short and Kurt, and maybe there was no feeling, but understand the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse and isn't really speaking to anyone right now. I think that you're going to uh, somehow communicate with this person and you're the one that's going to bring the tower because now you understand the value of this person. Um, and uh, I think you want to take them out or have a reunion. Ten of Cups is in the future. Just saying, with the Queen of Wands, you're incredibly attracted to this person for sure. If you're coming in as the King of Cups, it means that you are going to be um, emotionally aware, emotionally available. Is that you? Queen of Swords is here. You're going to talk about that. Queen and the King of Swords is is uh, the confirmation that this is a soulmate connection. All right. I'm going to go, Leo. Thank you so much for coming here. I appreciate you and I am out. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, Sagittarius. Thanks for clicking here, my friends. All right. We're going to use a couple of Oracle decks and... Um, we are um, then going to throw some tarot at it and see what's up. This has been a really interesting read um, this week uh, for the week ahead. This is for you, Sagittarius, the Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. I'm your Saggy sister. It is in my rising. All right, it's on like neck bones. Here we go. We've got voyage and pleasure. I like it. Sagittarius voyage. So blue and green, heart chakra, throat chakra. The voyage is by moonlight. You might be taking a red eye somewhere for some of you. If this is indicating travel or a trip, you might be going overseas and you might be like boarding or your flight might be leaving at a, a terrible hour in the morning, like 3 or 4 a.m. Um, for some of you, if you're traveling over water, say with this card of the voyage for others of you it feels almost like that you've been carried by the universe and maybe maybe you notice it and maybe you don't but it's like I feel like I'm connecting with someone who is in a tough spot right now that it might be a little hard kind of an emotional hard time for you right now maybe things are ending or people are leaving your life and I feel like I feel like I, I'm supposed to tell you that, you know, if if you find somebody who gives you kindness just because, or or helps you out with something just because they love you, or something like that, they are all people who have been put in your path, who have been put in your path on this voyage, yeah, to make it a little easier for you. <laughs> Yeah, to show you the way, to show you the path. So I think what we're supposed to get from that, Sagittarius, is be sure that you are open. Open to um, the words of other people. Be sure that you 
you know, with discernment, of course, that that you really do seek the things of pleasure. I feel like it's part, this part of your journey or your voyage is to, is to be a little easier on yourself, to take the path that's already traveled rather than trying to forge all the paths. You don't always got to be at the front of the line. It can be exhausting. Even geese, like geese know that. They know that the strongest bird flies at the front of the V. The very tip of the V is the strongest bird and the rest are all being sort of pulled along. You know, the, the, the ones that are tired, they're always going to change position. The ones that are tired go further back so they can be pulled along and um, the stronger ones go to the front. And I, I, I want to say to you that you don't always have to be at the front of the line. You don't always have to be that one. It's time for you to travel a path that's already been traveled, that, uh, that's already been forged and enjoy the path. Yeah, stop struggling to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, I feel like somebody has been carrying you. A family member, someone who's passed over. Um, the universe has been carrying you at times when you feel really low or really down. And we get the clouds. That's very interesting. <laughs> clouds. It says distractions. Okay. You're supposed to distract yourself on this part of the voyage with pleasurable things. It feels like you should be spending more time in nature. So, I mean, I'm not saying go, go camping. Maybe glamping. <laughs> you know, you don't do that stuff if you don't want to. But I really do feel that the path of pleasure is one that is of uh, starry nights. Maybe nights by the fire pit, whether that's in, you know, in the bush or whether that's um, at the cottage or in your own backyard. I feel as though that you're supposed to really open your eyes and take a look around. This is the purple, right, that we're seeing here. This is uh, the third eye. You're really supposed to open your eyes and look around and make sure that you notice the pleasures that are around you. Um, get distracted in the pleasure. And the pleasure is going to kind of set you free because if you are going to nature, nature is always going to give you, restore you, right? It's always going to give to you without asking for anything. This is card number 11. It's a, a master number, right? It feels like um, we're talking about um, somebody from... From, from the heavens, probably, someone who's already crossed over, it could be, that is, is carrying you on this voyage. It's been hard. I think you come from a place in the near past that was really tough. You've just maybe are coming, you know, out of a, a tough patch in your life. There's some changes that are coming up in the future, but it says here, um, chance, and I saw it as change. So I feel like you're going to have a chance to change something to do something that you don't usually do that's going to bring great pleasure and i think it's going to be a great distraction it might have to do with camping or glamping or something like that um, we have resilience on the bottom of the deck and destiny so resilience tells me you know you learn to be resilient because the things that were sent to kill you just made you stronger right that's resilience and the succulent plant is just that it's really hard to kill a succulent i don't think anyone's ever succeeded in doing that yeah, succulents are really, really resilient. And even if they look a little worse for wear, you can nurse them back to health pretty easily. Um, I feel like uh, it says destiny energy, that maybe you might have some new energy coming toward you here. Be resilient. Things are going to get a little better. And if you choose it, understand, because pleasure is something you choose. Pleasure isn't something that is just given to you. You have to choose it, seek it out. Wouldn't it be nice to just be, I, I, as I'm looking at this, laying on the beach, looking up at the at the uh, clouds, I remember doing that as a kid uh, out at, uh, at my grandparents' um, trailer, just laying there. I used to love to just watch the clouds go by in the blue sky, just laying on the beach. All right. We've got the Knight of Wands. the ace of wands okay it's got a lot of fire energy here got the page of wands wow <laughs> it is all fire sure is you know what i think that it is time for you to be a little more impulsive 
I feel as though you do a lot of things in your life, most things, maybe 90% of those things, are never done without a plan. And I think that you're going to learn to be a little more impulsive as it pertains to the pleasures in life. You're going to take more chances. You're going to roll the dice a little more. Maybe this is the time in your life when you're supposed to be carefree, fun, flirty. Yeah. Pleasure is also touching the Ace of Wands. It's like maybe you've been distracting yourself with pleasure, and I like that. Things that you're passionate about. Maybe you started painting again. Maybe you started taking pictures again. Maybe you used to dabble in, in um, pottery. You know, something, something that really makes you feel passionate. It could be a person as well. For some of you, it could be a child. For others of you, I think that we're looking at an Ace of Wands here with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. And for some of you, you're going to be getting some type of message that's coming. It's going to, this, this message that's coming is going to ask you to take a chance and do something pleasurable. And I think that that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. You're supposed to be resting, relaxing, enjoying the outdoors. And uh, I feel like you're going to get some sort of an invitation to do that. We have the Ten of Swords. So the Knight of Wands is someone who, uh, if they are a person, doesn't really give much stability. Knight of Wands is sort of impulsive and does what they want. They're kind of risky. They're risk takers. Sometimes, you know, they don't really, they don't really uh, go through the vetting purpose. <laughs> the, the vetting part of things, they just kind of jump in um, head first, sort of, hoping that there's no rocks at the bottom. It's kind of risky. We have uh, the Chariot in Reverse, and we've got the Knight of Cups. Just listening. Got the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Sagittarius, I, th I think there's somebody here that you haven't been communicating with. It feels like there's a, um, a gap in communication. You, it's like you're on the outside looking in of someone's life here. Uh, I feel it's somebody who, um, in the very recent past, that possibly you've had some passionate interactions with. But this person, the Knight of Wands, is not giving you any stability. All they are is a distraction. They're a pleasurable distraction, this person is. And they are fun. They are flirty. They don't like to plan a thing. Let's just let's just go for a drive to the next state and find a cafe. Do you know what I mean? Like this person is kind of impulsive. And you're wondering if you should take a chance with this person because you have feelings for them. We have the Knight of Cups, right, with the Page of Wands. You're wondering if you should take a chance with this person. They could be younger than you. They could be immature. They don't have to be, but they definitely there definitely is some sort of an age difference here. I think it's on their side because I think uh, they will be sending a message that you're going to be in receipt of some sort of a message, a passionate message of sorts. I think the breaks have been put on as it's pertaining to the Ace of Wands. I mean, I feel like with the, the chariot in reverse here, it feels like you you want a victory here with the Ace of Wands, but I think that you're scared it's going to head off into the ditch. Yeah, I'm just watching her like, maybe she's never driven a snail before, right? <laughs> I want to say that it's, it's fast-moving energy, but it feels like it's coming at you. It's It's... It's fast-moving energy, but it's coming at you slow motion. What does that mean, Charlie? It's coming at you slow motion. You know what's what's about to happen here. You know what's... I want to say that, yeah, that you that it feels like you already know what's going to happen here because the, the this is the card of Cancer. So I feel like while it's quiet, while nothing is moving, the Ace of Wands is here, it's waiting. We're waiting to begin, like it feels like you're waiting to begin a new passionate moment again. Maybe it's moments that you're having with this person. This person doesn't give you any stability and I think that you don't like it. I think you want to put it to an end. I think that it bothers you a lot. It feels hurtful that this person, you know, maybe this person 
maybe you go out for dinner and then they drop you off. They don't come in and spend any time with you. Um, or um, they show up and, you know, you have a passionate night and then you don't hear from them again for a week. It feels like you just can't do that anymore. That it's It feels like it's no longer going to be part of your voyage. But I think that is going to be your choice. That's going to be, it's going to be your choice to, um, as to what you want to do here. Um, I feel like that right now everything's on hold it feels like maybe you haven't heard from this person um that they haven't really said much that maybe you're still um you're still waiting for them to communicate or come over or to see you because you're waiting here with the ace of wands but it feels like this person this person is a great distraction from whatever it is that you're not that you're uh, not feeling good about that's going on in your life right now. This person shows up, gives you all the passion, the crazy chemistry, you're very attracted, and then they're gone. And it's like they're a great distraction from whatever's going on with you right now. I think that you, that this person is going to communicate something that has to do with their feelings. So the Page of Wands is going to do it impulsively, um, and this person, I feel, is... Um, someone who is going to not only tell you that they want to see you or give you some passionate words therein, <laughs> but I think that this person also is going to tell you or reveal that they have some feelings for you, that they, I feel like they're going to come at you in a romantic, passionate way. Do you know what I mean? Like a, a display of affection of some kind. Maybe they'll bring in a gift or a bottle of wine and a dozen roses or, um, or if, if you're the masculine and she's the feminine, maybe she's going to do something she wouldn't usually do, buy you a piece of jewelry or, you know what I mean? Like it feels like it's a, a display of affection, but it's done impulsively. And I think it makes you want to take a chance in the future with this person. Yeah. It goes from, we go from quiet to the queen of pentacles, the three of cups, because somebody's going to ask, uh, you're going to ask somebody out or they're going to ask you out. Two of pentacles, this person's going to say, ah, I'm kind of busy. I don't know. My life is super busy. And I think that's the excuse that they use. They shut you down, four pentacles. You keep holding on to the situation, but they've already shut you down. They're not giving you really, like they're giving you reciprocity. Two of pentacles and four pentacles is six pentacles, but you know that they're giving more to another situation, whether that's a job or maybe they have a business or could be another person. I think that, that you're the person who has to kind of coax them to come out. The three of cups and the queen of pentacles tells me that you have to give them a really good reason for celebration. Like... That you're cel like you have to give them a really good reason for them to want to come out, like to go out in public on a date. It's like, oh, we're celebrating this, or someone's having a birthday, or it's like it has to be a special occasion thing. And it feels like there's a, a disconnect here. It's like if you don't if you don't text them, you don't hear from them. That's what it feels like. Someone's not a very good communicator here. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, because this has got to end here. According to you, this is this is uh, your feelings here in the very recent uh, past, or you know, as we're looking in the week a ahead, this would be like you know around Monday, Tuesday. You're like, wait a second, what am I doing here? I can't do this anymore. This person doesn't give me anything. They give me stability, and that's no longer going to be part of my path. This person's been a great distraction, but they really don't give me anything. They don't leave you with anything. They're spotty on the communication, it seems. The magician. The thing is, is you keep manifesting them, so they keep coming back, right? And so it, the Knight of Wands, understand, the Knight of Wands can't, can't be successful if you don't allow it. Like if they come into your life, if they keep coming in and out of your life and you keep allowing it, well, then they're just going to keep doing it. Why wouldn't they? I think you keep manifesting them. Like, I think you, you keep wanting them to come back, but it feels like they come back for moments in time and then you don't hear from them again for a while. And I think that you want that to stop. I think that um, that's part of the manifestation here. That you're trying to manifest that that person is going to give you stability. But understand, if they, they don't have an understanding of that, they just don't have an understanding of it, right? They have to come to their own understanding. But the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So 
This person's really brave. This person is really brave. They're really brave because they've had a really hard life. <coughs> Excuse me. This person's really brave because they've had no other choice. And so it feels as though probably coming in and out of your life super quick, not making, not laying any, any groundwork, not laying any, any roots of any kind comes from trauma. If it feels to me like they've, they've just always been the person who's been on the move or they've always had to take care of business for everybody, or, you know, they're the person that everyone depends on, but it feels like this person, this person is super brave. And I think they're, they're really trying to come out from behind some sort of a fear. It might be a fear of intimacy. So maybe this person, you know, you guys get together and the chemistry is great, blam, but then, you know, maybe they don't hang out. Maybe they just go home or, you know what I mean? It's like the, the intimacy part and the act of, of the sexual thing. They're two different things, right? This person probably doesn't, doesn't give a whole lot of affection, that their life is really run, run, um, on fire their life runs on fire this is someone that you do have a relationship with so this is someone that you're either friends of benefits with or someone that you um you've uh created a relationship with um that doesn't really you know it's it's come to this foundation of we like each other let's talk a little bit you know we are we on each other's team i support you you support me it feels like something has grown here um the uh four of swords is telling me that the message that you're going to get from this person, I think, is one of, it feels like with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups that somebody here has had a realization in their healing process that they have to be kinder with their words, that they have to be, uh, they have to show you what they mean, they have to be very honest with you. Um, they've, in the healing, they've realized that, you know, passionate messages only work for a short bit and then something else has to transpire right we can't just live at the page of wands otherwise we grow up to be the knight of wands and then you know you just go you keep doing the same cycle over and over again yeah it's like the cycle just never ends So I think that this page of wands, that they want to heal something with you. And the thing I think they want to heal is they want to take a chance in romance with you. They want to, I, I feel, it almost feels like with, um, with the nine of wands in the reverse, that nine of wands is in the reverse because I'm trying to come out from behind the fear wall. I'm trying to be more courageous, more brave. Um, and it feels like it took time to do that. And this person's hoping that the three pentacles that you've built, like the small foundation that you've built, is going to carry you until they see you again. But I feel like there's been a break in the action, that there's been silence. And so you've been standing here with your ace of wands waiting for your person to show up. And I feel like in the, in the week ahead you are going to get um, communication. Um, tell me what is coming up as the challenge for the week ahead for Sagittarius, please. the moon card it's the not knowing that's what it is it's the not knowing it's not it's you can't see it you can't um anticipate it it's like you're just stuck here you're stuck here holding the ace of wands waiting for your knight of wands to show up and give you the whirlwind romance beautiful passionate desirable moments and um it feels like that sort of all comes to a grinding halt or or has come to a grinding halt you're wondering, and you, you don't know, with the moon as being the challenge, you're wondering if we even have a foundation here. Is it really just page of wands? Is it really just passionate texts and sexting and passionate moments? Or is it romance? Is it something that's going to grow? I think that things are going to be healed in this respect here. I think that your person thinks that that they can just come at you with the passionate text, get your attention, and then they can come in and do the romance thing, and I don't think you're cool with it. No, I think you want more stability than that. And what's bothering you the most, the biggest challenge next week, is that you don't know what's going on. It's like you, you're not really sure what to do. She looks very unsure about the Knight of Wands. She's kind of looking over at the Knight of Wands like, I'm not really sure what you're doing. All right, so what are you taking a chance on in the future here? 
taking a, a chance on the, the Three of Wands. So waiting for the ships to come in. For some of you, you're going to be taking a chance because you've been, um, either you are the Empress that's been waiting or you're waiting on an Empress. Uh, but the Empress is, is Libra and uh, and Taurus. But understand that al also all of the queens, right? So um, Sagittarius, I think that uh, you have been waiting for something to transpire um, in the future with this person who is the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands energy. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse, so nobody's putting any effort in. And, and this person's not putting any effort in on you, and you're the damn Empress. You're not chasing. The Empress does not chase, so um, she doesn't need to. She's attracting and minding her business. She's staying in her lane. So I feel like nothing's transpiring because no one's taking action and you're damn well not doing it. <laughs> and you sh as, as you should not, you are, you know, the person who is, is all the beans in the jar and somebody needs to approach you or needs to work for you, needs to work, uh, you know, needs to work to get your attention. But I feel like you think that the ships are, are coming in and as it pertains to something that is uh, not yet transpired in, in the 3D, but is about to, I think. Oh, we've got some lack here. So you're in sort of a lack mentality. Um, I want to say off and on because the page of pentacles is in the reverse. Off and on, I think you're in this lack mentality of feeling badly about about the way uh, the last, last connection that you had to this person was, the last verbal connection. It may not have gone off very well with the page of wands. It might have been impulsive conversation or things were said that were out of line and somebody let all the words fall out. Yeah. Let the words fall out. What? Charlie says that's a song. Oh, okay, because so it looks like he's kind of like blah, but it's a sword, right? Let the words fall out. Oh, that's brave. That's what that is. Um, say what you want to say and let the words fall out. I want to see you be brave. So somebody's coming in to be brave, and, and the Knight of Wands and Page of Wands are just that. Um, they're brave, yeah. It feels like somebody has, has, some, um, has some regrets about maybe the last conversation that was had between you and this person um just can't stop thinking about it yeah seven of wands they can't stop thinking about um the last communication that you had here yeah they're all up in their head so will there be communication in the week ahead we have um the five of pentacles yeah the reconnection five of pentacles is in the reverse and then we're going to end this cycle of silence ten of swords and although i've been hurt and it was terrible when it ended i've been waiting to talk to you I mean, this person has been giving you some time to yourself, Sagittarius, to figure it out, to figure out how you feel. They're giving you some time after the Ten of Swords. Maybe there was a, a moment that you guys had, had stopped talking. Yeah, and then there's the communication. So someone changes their mind and wants to communicate with you again. Three of Cups is in the reverse. They're not really sure how they're going to be received. I think because it's been silent. They're trying to get up the courage. You could be uh, dealing with Leo. You could be dealing with Aries. Could be dealing with Cancer. Could be dealing with Scorpio. Or the Empress. Mm -hmm. Leo and Taurus. All right. Thanks so much for coming here. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you. And I'm up for now. I will see you next week. Bye, guys.